Skyscrapers are beautiful. <laughs> Molly and Caroline oh. live on top of the world, but one of them oh. is terrified of heights and elevators. Small spaces make her freak okay. out. They'll have to split up. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Who can get to the 43rd floor first? Caroline doesn't stand a chance. Her phobias are keeping her trapped. Plus, Molly's going extra fast. She shouldn't play with fire like that. Caroline is going as fast as she can, but she somehow makes it to the home stretch. She won the race fair and square. Oh. Now she really is on top of the world. What, what went wrong with Molly? There are weird noises coming from the elevator shaft. Molly's going up and down uncontrollably. She's calling her friend for help. Both girls are terrified. Caroline has no idea what to do. Molly's getting claustrophobic too. The control panel is locked. She just remembered she can use her hair clip to pick it. Molly used to pick locks all the time yeah. to set animals free from cosmetic testing. She'll be able to do this for sure. Wow, so many buttons. And a screwdriver. Molly is pressing buttons at random. That won't end well. Hopefully she's not badly hurt. What's in this suitcase? More locks? Seriously? Everything is going wrong. Wow, a fingerprint what? scanner. That's a lot of security for an old suitcase. Her finger isn't opening it. She actually burned off all her fingerprints by giving high fives. Molly won't give up. Can she fool the face scanner by making faces? She's the best at making faces. The suitcase is open. There's nothing useful inside, but Molly can use it to decorate the elevator. She has to make this face her own. If she's gonna be stuck in here, she may as well get used to it. Done! <laughs> Caroline keeps knocking on the doors with no result. A stethoscope's a good idea. But she should have adjusted the volume. She nearly went deaf. How can she get Molly out? Maybe pressing buttons until the elevator works? But she broke it. This elevator's just a cheap knockoff. And she set it up wrong. Will you tell Caroline which button should go where? Molly's trying to press all the buttons at once. She's not the only one in here. She's terrified of spiders. Why do they have so many legs? And why are their webs so sticky? You again. She dropped her necklace and broke it. It was her favorite. Hmm, could she make a decoration? That's a good idea. What if the lights go out? Another task accomplished. Molly's getting hungry, so she ordered <laughs> delivery. The delivery guy had to take the stairs up. Here's the food. How's he going to get it to Molly? Okay. The gap in the door is too small. What if we make it flat? Yeah. Now she can get it. Nice job. You deserve a nice tip. Money is yes. useless to Molly now. She's never seen food this flat before. She just inflates it again. She can't wait to eat it. She's starving. The delivery guy put a surprise in the bag. Candy! Perfect timing. Don't eat it all at once. She forgot about the mirror and got scared by her own reflection. Oh. There are a lot of candy wrappers left. And since she can't throw them away, she'll have to repurpose them. What a sweet frame. Uh-oh, she pressed the wrong button. She's running out of air. Is it over for her? She can't reach the vent. If only she had a ladder. She needs her friend's help. Okay. 
Time is running out. Caroline needs to turn on the ventilation. She can do it, right? It's just one lever. She won't spare fresh air for her friend. Now Molly's getting what? blown away. That's enough oh air gosh. for sure. That's too much. Turn it down. This hairstyle suits her. Molly is bored, so she's going to keep working on her decorations. Mm -hmm. This is Caroline's favorite dress. It has a loose string. Molly shouldn't pull it. Or soon, she'll be able to cocoon herself in string. Caroline doesn't need the dress, right? But Molly needs the string. She has an interesting idea. <laughs> the explosion what? scared Caroline. Everything's okay. Actually, it's great. Now Molly has a chandelier. She's killing it. Uh-oh. Molly's out of water. She won't make it much longer. Caroline will help her. She'll use straws to send cold soda straight into Molly's mouth. It tastes different now. How come? Someone clearly decided that soda isn't good for her. Molly is sharing her beverage source with a cute dog. This is awkward. Caroline brought Molly some ice cream. That'll make this whole ordeal more fun. It's raining sweets. Molly loves ice cream. She's eating it as fast as she can. Good for her. She's leaving a lot of popsicle sticks. What can she make out of them? Hmm. Here's an idea. Oh. Mm -hmm. What are these safety instructions for? <laughs> Who needs them? Ooh. Molly's going to make a pinball machine out of it. She'll use a bead as the ball. This is her favorite arcade game. She currently holds the world record. All that yelling is making Caroline nervous. Is Molly huh? suffering? No, she's just crushing this challenge. Suddenly, Caroline got the idea to call an elevator technician. That took a while. Better late than never. But there's not a lot of them in our city. She's about to lose hope when she saw the solution right under her feet. That's exactly what she needs. She's calling him, but he was working the night shift, so he's asleep. He doesn't want to wake up from his sweet dream. Caroline never gives up. One time, she managed to call her ex, even though his phone was off. The difference is, this guy has a hammer. Meanwhile, Molly is turning the elevator into the room of her dreams. She has everything she needs. Or does she? Something is wrong, yeah. but what? She has to do something with all this junk and with the suitcase itself. Now it's a chair. And here's a light. She just has to pick all this stuff up now. Where can she put it? What? Oh. Caroline can take it. It's her stuff after all. The neighbor's new wardrobe just arrived. The delivery team is going to be surprised. The elevator is broken, and they have to go up to the 43rd floor. Mission impossible, you say? Well, they say they'll get fired if they don't move it. This is definitely the hardest job they've ever had. Finally, they make it to the right floor. But Caroline tells them they're in the wrong building. Worst news ever. Oh, that's Caroline's hot neighbor, Joe. What? He's looking for a furniture delivery? Caroline hasn't seen anything. Meanwhile, Molly is catching up on some reading. But her soda sprayed in her face. She's miserable. Why does the universe hate her? Okay. Caroline knows how to make her feel better. Fresh fruit. It's healthy and sweet. She forgot that the crack in the door is tiny. But if she removes the fruit, the plate will fit. What's the point of an empty plate? Here's an idea. Make a table. Books as legs, some paint, and Molly's table is done. She's great at this kind of thing. Now the elevator is turning into a pretty cool room. She's doing an amazing job. Caroline is calling 911. 
Maybe the cops will finally do their jobs for once, instead of wasting taxpayer money on donuts. She's trying to explain the situation to the cop, but there's no point. He doesn't understand anything. All this info's just making him sick. His tiny brain can't handle it. Caroline panics and calls an ambulance. Help! But the doctor assumed she attacked the cop. Now he's arresting her. This is the weirdest situation ever. Caroline tries to explain that her friend is trapped in an elevator and losing oxygen. No, no, no. Now who should she call? What? Molly's trying to relax and meditate. Which is hard to do when you're trapped in an elevator on the 43rd floor. She can't stay calm. She's panicking. She needs a bag. Breathe in, breathe out. Ooh, french fries, nice. That's enough for now. In, out, in, and out. The elevator isn't turning on. She's pressed every button. Or almost every button. What's this? She's figured it out. A pop it. She's about to freak out again. She's so stressed. This is not how she wanted to spend her day. She doesn't want to die like this. Instead, she'll cut the poppet and redecorate the buttons. Now, pressing them is relaxing. The elevator likes it. It's thanking Molly for everything she's done. She can go now. Caroline's so happy to see that her friend is okay. They'll never let this happen again. This is the landlord. He brought an investor to see the building. The elevator made an amazing impression. The landlord is claiming he did this all himself. What a scumbag. Molly did all the hard work. The landlord is continuing the tour. The girls are gonna give him the ride of his life. How do you like that, Mr. Thomas? He's crying like a baby. What? Meanwhile, hmm. the girls will accept the investor's money for their hard work on the elevator. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Molly! Oh, yeah. Maybe we can build something else! This is the wild, wild west, and Caroline is hunting for the heads of guys who dump their gals. Molly would do anything to keep her from crying. Caroline is planning how to decorate. And her sister has plenty of opinions. No. You're too young to have an opinion. But both of them agree that the wall should be edible. Let's get to work. They bought out all the candy stores on the block. And now at least they have lots to eat and decorate with. Let's celebrate. But what should we start with? Skittles, macaroons, or candy? Comment your pick down below. Caroline was going through old toys and found a water gun. Hands up! Not even a towel will save you. The gun can't shoot anymore. And it doesn't need to. But Molly won't let this slide. An eye for an eye. Molly loves candy. It helps her focus. Oops! The floor loves it too. Give it back. I'm going to take it back. But now there's a stain. But this rug will cover it. That's the perfect wow. crime. A whole package of donuts? Is Molly going to eat them all? What about Caroline? Molly got inspired and made a cool mirror for both of them. Caroline can't resist. While Molly is decorating, Caroline was munching. And she put the box back. She got carried away. Good thing she didn't eat the box. Milk and cookies are like meditation. But the cookies aren't infinite. Molly's getting tense. She
she helped her big sis. And now Caroline can help her. This is a huge cookie. It won't even fit in the glass. And Molly's mouth is too small. This cookie needs a whole pool. And all the milk in the house. We even had to steal some from the neighbor. It's all for you, Molly. Caroline planted one in an ice cream bucket. Looks cute. Molly wants everything in here to be sweet. Even the plants. The soda is bearing fruit. Let's harvest it. And share. Caroline makes a huge macaroon out of the light clay. And Molly tried to bite it. She stuck to it like gum to the underside of brand new sneakers. You can't eat that. Molly's not done with it yet. That was only the first round. The light is ruined. I wasn't expecting ice cream rain. Caroline is so messy. But she's ready to help out. It's faster and more fun if we work together. An ice cream light is awesome. It's gorgeous. Oh, there's a raisin. The room is turning out great. Caroline got caught chewing gum. And now she's stuck. Only Molly can help get her out. Mm. Chewing gum is her specialty. Everybody wins! Being out of Skittles is bad news. Someone ate too much. Caroline is going to catch the criminal. They won't be able to resist this painting. And here it comes. Molly is trying to lick her way to the candy. The girls spent all their money on candy. They don't have any left. But Molly has a plan. The Tooth Fairy has money. We can just trick her. But instead of one tooth, we'll use Grandma's dentures. This is a great idea. We'll be rich. Hmm. Grandma's dentures are priceless, but we'll settle for a big check. <laughs> The girls want to make their own caramel. They need a whole lot of sugar. This could be dangerous. But trying to change their minds is pointless. The girls are losing control. Only one drop charged Molly like lightning. She's unrecognizable. She slicked the Energizer Bunny. Too much sugar, clearly. You need some coffee and some candy. No, 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 no. Caroline forgot about her ex, and she's texting a new guy now. So Molly steals her candy. But maybe it's time to actually get to work? The sweet room won't build itself. We're using Nutella as cement. That's way better. Caroline is protecting herself with a sweet wall. Now her candy is safe. Oops, Molly is eating Nutella and bricks. Will she eat Caroline next? The laptop doesn't match the room. This is the end of the world. But Caroline can fix it. Colorful stickers will make her laptop sweeter. Yes. That's better. But of course, Molly's here to ruin everything. She's always getting in the way. She ruined the laptop and the stickers. Maybe we've eaten too much candy? My stomach hurts. Molly has an idea for how to get healthier. Candy on a stick will be a great motivation. Caroline should have supported this idea. We need to patent it. Caroline has never run this fast before. 
When she was on the home stretch, it turned out that the candy was all a lie! Since Caroline is quitting candy, Molly should too. Salt instead of sugar will change the recipe a lot. Molly doesn't suspect anything. It smells good. Can I try it? Ooh, what's that weird flavor? Want some candy? Molly has never said no before. But this is very, very, very sour candy. Too much candy is actually bad for your teeth. And tooth pain is unbearable. Dad took the girls to the dentist. And now the tooth fairy won't ever come back. Here's hoping they learned their lesson. No more candy. Only health food. We'll have to redo the room, too, to match Dad's favorite game, Plants vs. Zombies. Caroline and her cousin Molly just saw a cool secret room on Instagram. And now they want to have their own. Caroline is rich, so she can afford all the best building materials. Okay. But lifting them won't be easy. She'll have to ask her cousin for help. Molly has never had much money. But she's kind and helpful. And her cousin always takes advantage of that. Molly does everything for her. Caroline overworks her and pays her in materials. Molly is struggling to do it on her own. And Caroline isn't planning on helping. She needs to make her own room look nice. Molly is disappointed in her. Interior decor can really set the mood. Caroline wants it to look rich. And Molly has to use Caroline's rejects. The result is just as good. Caroline is furious. Everyone needs shelves in their room. Caroline stores her expensive accessories and tiaras here. And she treats Molly's room as a trash can. That's frustrating. Molly's creativity helps her use Caroline's trash for something good. She can turn a normal box into something awesome using paint. It looks so nice. When you have lots of money, you can afford all kinds of lighting. How is Molly going to light her room? Well, not everything needs to be lit up, right? That's up to Molly. Soon, her room has cool lights that even Caroline can't afford. After Molly's little craft, now she'll have to shower in the dark. Molly goes down to the basement in search of treasures. There must be a lot of good stuff in here. What's this old suitcase for? What's she up to? We're about to see. There's another suitcase inside. This can't be for her new room. Unless she turns it into a chair? That's not very comfortable. But Molly's so creative that she can turn anything into something for her room. This is actually a pillow. Awesome. Caroline is jealous. So she orders a ton of squishy cushions for her room. It's rich. And poor Molly has to settle for her old junk. She looks like a sad little gray mouse. And Caroline is like the cat that's about to get the cream. Caroline can afford a cool desk with a laptop. This is her chill corner. Now she can watch Troom Troom trick videos in her new room. Molly's so bored that she comes up with new ideas using whatever she can find. She made a desk out of a trash can. Since she can't afford a laptop, Caroline will decide to generously share. Molly keeps getting new ideas. 
she can make oh. a telescope out of toilet paper and cardboard. Caroline doesn't need arts and crafts. She can just buy new stuff. She's teasing poor Molly. Maybe Molly doesn't have a rich imagination. Molly has to think of something Caroline won't be able to buy. If she explores her house, maybe she can find something cool. She can use ropes and clothespins. Caroline doesn't think it's going to work. Big mistake! Look at this amazing photo display! Caroline's not impressed. She bought a projector to show off her pics. Molly's idea aged like milk. Did you like our new video? Then be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell! See you next time on Trim Trim Trick!